then. Yes? We're interviewing you. Yes? How do you feel about this year's graduates? They're graduating. Oh, I mean, I'm so happy that um, COVID, though it impacted their years, didn't ultimately take you know this year away from them. And so that makes me really happy. Really proud of all the work they've done. Very excited and very happy for all of them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Thinking that they are prepared and they are ready to go out into the world and they are just ready to go out into the world. So, woo! Congratulations, uh, you guys! How do I feel about it? I'm very sad. These people, what am I going to do when they're no longer coming to school every day? It's devastating. Look at this. I'm so awful. <laughs> Ryan! How are you feeling about graduation? I'm good. I'm excited. I'm hungry. You know, like, sometimes I get a little nervous and I get really gassy and it all builds up and then the gas, you know, it turns into solids and, you know, it's just a real big, like, problem. And I don't know if it's washable, like, polyester, it's great enough. How are you feeling about graduation? I'm not ready! Get me out of here! It's, Get me out of here! I'm approximately five years old. I don't know why they're letting me graduate. But you know what? Here we are. I'm just here for fun. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the Gibsonette class of 2022 commencement ceremony. Welcome to all of our guests, parents, families, friends, community men members, mentors, staff, and graduates! <laughs> I acknowledge that I am on the indigenous land of Coast Salish people who have reserved treaty rights to this land, specifically the Snoqualmie Indian tribe. I thank these caretakers of this land who have lived and continue to live here since time immemorial. immemorial. Please rise and remove your hats for our national anthem performed by Gibsonek graduating senior Tyler Johnson.
Thank you, Tyler. You may all be seated. Okay, you guys, why is it not raining right now? <laughs> I've never wanted it to rain so badly since this morning, and here we are inside, and this is a really special moment because this is a home for all of us, and this is a really cool and special place for us. So we have no regrets that we are all in here packed together to celebrate these amazing individuals up on the stage with us today. Um, I'm Julia Bamba, the proud and inspired principal of Gibson Neck High School and the class of 2022 graduates here today. I'm honored to welcome you all here today to recognize, celebrate our graduates, and to thank you for all of your love and support of our students. Thank you to our district leaders who are here today, school board president Ann Moore, school board members Dr. Harlan Gallinger, Marnie Moraldo, Sydney Mullings, and Suzanne Weaver. Uh, Superintendent Ron Thiele. And thank you to our, uh, for continuing to encourage and support us. This has allowed us to continue to build and curate a school that celebrates passion, creativity, and community partnerships. Thank you to our dedicated advisors and passionate staff who bring the thoughtfulness and care with them every day to create a school where students have a voice in their learning and a place where failures are encouraged and even celebrated because that's what helps all of us learn and grow. Thank you to our incredible parents and families for your love, encouragement, and your trust. And thank you to the graduates of 2022. So we're pretty good at being flexible around here. And so when we had to make a quick change of plans today, we knew that all of these guys were gonna be okay with it. So this is really a test for all of their families and it seems like you all have done really well. So thank you, you have passed our daily challenge around here of being flexible and agile and changing things in the last moment. So let's get on with celebrating all of our graduates. Please join me in welcoming this year's staff speaker, our amazing, our talented, and our hardworking le learning through interest coordinator, Casey Henry. Hi, everybody. Hi, Casey. <laughs> I am so touched to be selected as staff speaker especially this year, because some of these graduates were in my advisory as freshmen before I moved into the internship coordinator position the next year. So this will be the last graduation when I'll be able to say that I taught some of these students as an advisor, so it's very special to me that this happened this year. But in any case, these speeches are usually about advice, right? And mine is super simple. Be a yes person. I say this to my own three young adult boys all the time. It means don't let anxiety keep you from opportunities. Take risks and try something new. I've found in my own life that almost every time I've been willing to say yes and take a risk, even when I felt scared and overwhelmed by self-doubt, as we all do sometimes, it's been worth it. A key moment happened during my sophomore year of high school. Shortly after I had moved from a rural Appalachian public school in Southern Ohio to a suburban Catholic high school in Pennsylvania, I had been feeling so shy and self-conscious at the new school that I had been saying no to social invitations and saying no to joining clubs and sports. Then one day, I tried saying yes to something. In my journalism elective, the teacher asked which one of us in the class wanted to interview our principal, a strict and usually scowling nun known as Sister Donna Marie. You might imagine the polar opposite of our warm and wonderful principal, Julia. Of course, nobody in that classroom moved or spoke. Everybody was afraid to talk to Sister Donna Marie. And then, to my great surprise, I felt my hand go up. Sometimes you say yes even when you're not sure that you're gonna do it, right? Saying yes, becoming a yes person, taking the risk, it changed my life. I ended up really enjoying my interview with Sister Donna Marie, who told me all about her past and turned out to be perfectly lovely, contrary to her reputation. 
This experience led me to join my college newspaper, then become a professional reporter and later a media teacher. And now this, one of my favorite jobs ever, helping teens connect with professionals through our mentorship program. I kept saying yes, and that made all the difference. But it's not just me. We've got loads of risk takers here today. The five graduating seniors I have watched grow and change since they were in my advisory all those years ago largely did so because they were willing to take risks, push past their anxieties, and become yes people. Each of them, as a freshman, was either shy or unsure about their interests. Pretty normal for our freshmen. And I didn't tell you all that I was going to talk about you, but you five, I'm going to give some examples right now. For example, my once shy former advisory student, Paige, was able to create an animated video for the entire Big Picture Learning Network this year because she took risks by reaching out to adults for feedback and by practicing new art styles outside of her comfort zone. The once unsure Maddie will likely go all the way through med school for dermatology after she said yes during the pandemic, no less, to an intimidating mentorship with a cellular biology professor. Persevering with that mentor built her academic confidence dramatically. Tyler just wrapped up a multi-year internship building boats for summer sailing classes on Lake Union after he took a risk and said yes to interning with the Center for Wooden Boats all the way in Seattle. Not to mention the risk he took playing guitar for all of you today. Okay. Graham has gone from a quiet 101 to a confident and funny senior who, much to my surprise, picked up a microphone to co-lead an all-school meeting last month. He developed his confidence in part after saying yes to social internships and putting himself out there socially. And Marcus is headed to a top industrial design college after transforming our tech space. How did he do it? He took a risk one day as a freshman and asked an upperclassman how to use the 3D printers. And you all know the rest is history. Saying yes to learning something new kickstarted three years of impressive school leadership for Marcus. Sometimes I like to tell Gibson X students that they chose the AP Honors High School. This often gets a laugh because of course we don't have traditional classes or grades, let alone an honors track. But it's not really a joke. Getting assignments done for points at one of our big high schools may be an easier path in many ways than choosing a school like this one, where you have to put yourself out there, interact with adult professionals, create projects that impact the community, and honestly, just let yourself be known. You cannot hide. You cannot disappear at Gibson Eck. In many ways, you must become a yes person and take risks. And these five students that I know so, so well from my former advisory, in fact, all of these graduating seniors are great examples of the amazing things that can happen when you do. So I'd like to close by sharing with you a poem that helped me push past my anxieties. I found it in a magazine the summer before I went to college. This was pre-internet, when magazines were still a thing. And I ripped it out and truly carried it in my wallet for years. It's called The Dilemma. To laugh is to risk appearing a fool. To weep is to risk appearing sentimental. To reach out for another is to risk involvement. To expose feelings is to risk rejection. To place your dreams before the crowd is to risk ridicule, which we have to do all the time at Gibson Eck, right, students? To love is to risk not being loved in return. To go forward in the face of overwhelming odds is to risk failure. But risks must be taken because the greatest hazard in life is to risk nothing. The person who risks nothing, does nothing, has nothing, is nothing. They may avoid suffering and sorrow, but they cannot learn, feel, change, grow, or love. Chained by their certitudes, they have forfeited their freedom. Only a person who takes risks is free. So I wish all of you graduates a life of freedom, exploration, 
and many, many opportunities to say yes. I would now like to welcome your class of 2022 student speaker, Jackie Moyle. little bit tall, sorry. Okay. All right, I'll do one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> when I heard that I was chosen to present the speech of 2022 without me having to hack the system, I was very excited. I couldn't wait to come up here and debut my career as a stand-up comedian while representing all my classmates at the same time. As I was writing down ideas on what to say, the only thing on my paper for like 20 minutes was just, Gibson Act only has unicycles as a metaphor for all of us being single. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best start. As I thought longer, instead of writing down more jokes, I found myself in tears. Not because of stress or anything, but because I realized that soon I'll be walking off this podium and saying goodbye to Gibson Act saying goodbye to the tiny building that managed to hold everyone in this group together. So instead, I'll break character and try to give a speech that all of you deserve. The ultimate thing I have gathered from Gibson Eck was love for humanity. Let me explain before you groan in your chair. When you're in a crowded place, treated like you're lesser, and feel blocked from opportunity, you start to feel angry. Middle school, despite not being that serious, made me not like people. I didn't see the beauty of socializing. I didn't feel free. I felt like no one saw me for what I am or what I'm capable of. But at Gibson Eck, all that was nipped in the bud. Having adults on a first name basis who see all your potential and are willing to take the time to push you in the right direction. To see a familiar face everywhere you go. To feel as though you're walking around in a Pokemon village, but instead of the NPCs fighting you, they just say their signature line and move on. <laughs> Every interaction, no matter what nasty words we said to each other playfully, made me feel good, as if I held a place in this world. Yeah, high school made me love people. You don't hear that one very often. Class of 2022, my brother in Christ, all of you have grown up so much. I feel like the best way to describe your progression was that you went from blowing up microwaves to building microwaves. A simple handprint on the wall at the end of the school year will never do your impact on this school justice. All of us are here because we were large fish in a small bowl, with no room to swim in our current environment. But now, here we are, thriving. Respectfully, I hope that when we leave, everybody cries. <laughs> Each and every one of you has had such a distinct presence in our school. I recall prom, where everybody cheered each other on, no matter how ridiculous we looked dancing. We were all comfortable expressing ourselves. I never would have thought in a million years that I would dance to Gangnam Style in front of a bunch of students and teachers. I have watched all of you progress into the best versions of yourselves. We are all immature, yet mature. What I mean is that we've grown up while at the same time maintained our childlike curiosity and free personalities. I feel like I'm gonna be in college wondering what each of you are doing. I'll just be sitting in a lecture and thinking, huh, I wonder if Ivan has found friends who are just as loud as he is. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the people you'll become and the things that you'll accomplish in life. We all made it here together. We are the last survivors of the class, and we're going to rock this world. As Isaac Newton once said, Costco sucks, but Gibson Eck doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> Join me in welcoming senior Mega Mishra as she performs Golden by Ruth B. i 
of the board, I am proud to certify that these students of Gibson X class of 2022 have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Issaquah School Board and the Washington State Board of Education. Please welcome board member Sydney Mullings to the stage to accept the class of 2022. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I accept Principal Bamba's verification that these Gibson Eck High School students have met the requirements set forth by the Board of Directors of the Issaquah School District and the State of Washington. They are officially accepted as the Gibson Eck High School graduating class of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> I would now like to introduce our amazing advisors to come up as we present the diplomas to the class of 2022 graduates. 
Our advisors work tirelessly with care and compassion to support all of their students each and every day. They will recognize each senior as they receive their diploma. Please help me in welcoming Andy McDonald, just back in time from paternity leave, to recognize his seniors. Uh, I would like to welcome Nicholas Disney, please. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Sorry. At the start of the year, Nick helped take a freshman under his wing and help that student adjust to Gibson Eck uh, and its sometimes seemingly random schedule. For those of us who have seen his growth since his freshman year, you will understand the significance of such a move. Ooh, sorry, pardon me. Uh, in multiple settings, he has made a point this year to help students and staff alike. <laughs> I will miss our random conversations around history and the absurd in advisory, but know you will be missed. Nick, you have demonstrated the ability to inspire and guide your peers. I'm so very proud of you. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to welcome up uh, Chloe Hung. Imagine, if you will, a student that is quiet, reserved, but loves art, but really struggles to show it, and is really deathly afraid of public speaking. What would you say if four years later, that same student had been an ASB senator, an art club leader, a helper to support homeless families, a planner to prom, and a mentor and advisor? I would say that, Chloe, this is how much you have grown. Your talents and skills will take you wherever you wish to go. And I'm so very proud of you. And finally, I would like to welcome Abigail Bab Smith. All or nothing, this is the way Bab wants the world. While the road to graduation was not smooth, as you or I would have hoped, she's done amazing. In doing her work, she has worked on authentic product work, project work that has wowed her audience. Whether it is creating custom dye with natural fibers that she went and got the natural dye itself, or making custom 3D filament from recycled plastic. She has combined her love of art and her pseudo love of science <laughs> into amazing work with an innovative spirit that everybody can see. The advisory will simply not be the same without you. Thank you for your energetic spirit and your energy. I'm just so very proud of you, Pat. And now, I'd like to welcome advisor Colin McCormick. The dust, is, the dust is thick up here, isn't it? Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, the first senior that I would like to acknowledge is uh, Austin Aidy. So Austin went into remote learning, the size of a middle schooler, and emerged a man that I had to literally look up to. Austin is kind and friendly, agreeable and mellow. Uh, you will not meet a person who can make you feel really heard and then calmly and politely make a point by point rebuttal of everything you just said, like Austin can. And you'll feel good about the interaction in the end. Austin has explored history, colonized the moon, and built a Coast Guard icebreaker at Gibson Eck. 
Congratulations, Austin, on a great high school experience. Go Cougs, and Mark Boberg would be so proud of you. Congratulations, Austin. Thank you. The next senior that I'd like to acknowledge is Bobby Back. Bobby Back is as unique as they come. Obsessed with 80s popular culture, competitive in ways that few others are, and even went through a phase where he preferred opening doors by running into them instead of using the handles. His sense of humor is so dry that sometimes I'm not sure if he even knows he made a joke. He has pushed himself to achieve all of the things he set out to do, chief among them, among them being creating a video game from the ground up, certainly no easy task. He may be graduating, but he'll always be back because it's his last name. Get it? Congratulations, Bobby Back. I'm glad you showed that off. Uh, the final senior that I will be uh, recognizing is Arden Survey. I don't know if there's a student that I have of mine that I have admired more throughout my teaching career than Arden. Arden is concerned with justice and empathy. Arden is an advocate for people other than herself. Without saying a word about it, Austin uh, Arden has shown me, this has been confusing for four years, this will be nice. Um, Arden has showed me how to be a better cisgender straight male from the 80s and 90s. Arden is a future renowned artist, budding film writer, director, emerging advocate, activist, the next junior associate at a world shifting law firm, future representative, senator, governor, maybe all of these, maybe something absolutely completely different. She is kind, unique, kind, caring, loyal, and graduating. Congratulations, Arden Survey. And now please welcome advisor Don Brayman. Uh, the first senior I'd like to acknowledge is Quentin Adler. <laughs> Quentin, it's been an absolute joy to see the impact you've made in our community. Uh, your passion, persistence, and persuasive talents have helped find solutions for unhoused youth in, and in the King County. Your mentor Kaylee had glowing things to say about your efforts, uh, saying, when Quentin, while Quentin will be leaving us soon, they are leaving a lasting legacy that will impact hundreds, if not thousands of teens. Your efforts are the epitome of what Gibson X students should aim to become, caring, compassionate learners who positively impact the community around them and create lasting legacies once they are gone. Good luck at the next stage at the University of Montana. Congratulations. <laughs> next, I'd like to bring Spencer Haynes. <laughs> there are few things more beautiful than hearing a young person talk about what really fires them up. And during exhibitions, we had the luxury of listening to Spencer talk about the, their enthusiasm for rare books. Um, while most people wouldn't have necessarily been fired up, the passion was just absolutely oozing from every pore. Spencer, the investment you've made in the success of this school through ASB and has left a lasting legacy for others to rise up to. I've been impressed with the quiet and subtle ways you influence others for good, whether it be a well-timed compliment to a peer or the way you invite those who are unsure about their voice and value to participate in the group. Good luck and Scotland. Next, next is Liam Magnuson. Liam, I am so impressed with your ability to make people laugh and feel comfortable around you. Uh, I cannot think of anyone who does not find you to be a genuine, honest, and absolutely hilarious person. 
Your determination to do quality work and your persistence in pursuing your capstone were admirable, and I know you will have a phenomenal year next year at BC. I can't wait to see what that stage of your journey holds for you. Congratulations, Liam. Next, good job, Liam. Uh, next would be Benjamin Will Philip Wilhelm. I will say, in all transparency, one of my favorite parts about us moving indoors was it would be the first time that I would get to stand eye to eye with Benny. <laughs> Um, Benny, I'm thankful of your honesty and sincerity in all things. You've managed to not only complete what's necessary for graduation, you've learned a ton along the way. Thank you for bringing your sarcasm and sincerity to advisory every day. I've been impressed with your pursuit and your passion in the culinary arts, your teaching of your C-Lab, your engagement with others. Um, I'm so excited that you'll be able to continue your learning at the Culinary Institute of America in San Antonio. Congratulations on a fine career here at Gibson Act, Benny. And last but not least in the blue room is Josh Zahn. Um, Josh, I'm so proud of what you've accomplished here at Gibson Heck. Um, your ability to determine what things you're passionate about and to pursue those things has led to an amazing internship for you. Um, you've spread joy to those around you when you invest your whole self Watching what you did um, has so impressed your mentors, Katie and Joey Garcia, that they said that they were truly honored that you allowed them to be part of your journey and your story. I wish you nothing but the best in the years to come. Congratulations on graduating. Gibson. Up. Please welcome advisor Jeff Bretman. All right, Alex Burt. When I was first hired at Gibson Act two years ago, I emailed my upperclassmen and my advisor to see if anyone was interested in meeting with me. Alex was the first to respond. We met over Zoom. He kept his camera turned off. Remember? <laughs> He shared with me his, his insights and opinions about what he wanted and what he did not want regarding our advisory. And uh, this was very helpful for me as a new advisor. I've since learned that Alex is not shy about sharing his opinions. <laughs> but in addition to the opinionated Alex, I have gotten to know um, and experience a deeply thoughtful, kind, and considerate Alex. And I deeply appreciate the complexity that is Alex. This year, Alex discovered a passion for solar energy systems and kind of electrical engineering related things and did really impressive work with his capstone project. And I'm excited to see the direction that this passion will take his life. So congratulations, Alex. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Next is Leif Carlson. To spend time with Leif is to visit a beautiful garden with National Public Radio playing in the background. <laughs> it's both calming and intellectual, intellectually satisfying at the same time. Leif is a person who walks to the beat of his own drum. He's comfortable observing and listening without feeling a need to speak or inject himself. Um, when I was a kid, there was a TV commercial for an investment firm whose tagline was, when E.F. Hutton talks, People listen. Remember this, some of you? This line applies to Leif. His thoughtful, rational, intellectual comments uh, have an impact in ways uh, that more vociferous people do not. And one way to describe Leif is that he's kind of a technical artist. He takes very utilitarian objects like computer keyboards and uses his technical skill to make them beautiful and fascinating. Leif has been a joy working with, and um, keep looking for ways to use your voice. The world needs more Leif. Good luck at Bellevue College. <laughs> 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 
And finally, Andrew Valencourt. Andrew is almost a one-of-a-kind person. He's traveled widely. His hobbies range from Magic the Gathering to flying airplanes to racing hydroplanes. His brain is full of copious amounts of trivia. He analyzes stock prices for fun. In my 28 years of working with high school students, I have honestly not encountered another Andrew. Over the past two years, Andrew's played a huge role in our advisory. He's always willing to lend a helping hand. He pays attention to others and shows an interest. He ponders how to improve things. So Andrew, thanks for the impact that you've had here at Gibson Eck. You've done great work. Keep looking for ways to make a difference in the world. And I wish you the best at Babson College next year. And now, please welcome advisor Karen Whalen. Hello, everyone. Um, I would the first person I would like to introduce is Cole Pack. I don't know who you are. Cole came into our school as a young freshman and not really knowing what to expect from Gibson Eck. He was relatively quiet back then, but he has grown into his voice. I've watched Cole learn how to expand his learning on his own. He took learning how to code, eventually incorporating that skill into his capstone project. He teamed up with his mentor on expanding his code writing skills, and this brought him to a new adventure that forced him outside his comfort zone, and this helped Cole to become the student that he is, independent, proactive, and reliable. Cole, I have enjoyed having you as my student. You brought an aspect our team was missing, and thank you for looking out for others. You showed support to your peers when they needed it, and I'm very proud of you. I wish you all the best as you leave Gibson Eck High School. You will be there. Evelyn Cullen, come on up. If I had an award for the most professional senior in my advisory, I think this would be Ellen. Ep Evelyn. Her initiation, self-motivation are impressive. Her, work appro her approach to working with adults gives us confidence in her as a high school student. At her internship, Evelyn has worked extremely hard to hone her craft around animation. She spent two years with her mentor creating animation shorts. Her storyboards that she writes the scripts, and she works directly with her mentor discussing the changes in edits. Evelyn will be going to DigiPen in the fall. She's incredibly talented, and it is there that she will continue to use the skills she developed around art and animation. Congratulations, Evelyn. Okay, Jackie Moyle. It feels right that you are the senior speaker. You have made your presence known in most things at Gibson Eck. Your leadership skills show up in many ways. Not only can you bring the team together, but you are open to sharing insights, bits of advice for the younger kids. You have a drive to learn about things that catch your eye, Feeling connected to your work is important. You are open to learning about new topics or skills that you can apply into your life. And when you decide on something, you go for it and really there's nothing that stops you. Jackie plays an important role in our advisory. She can get animated as the uh, narrator during one of our advisory games. It opens the other kids up and it brings the energy to the room. Knowing who you are, it will be a solid tool that will, bring, um, that will help you in the next stage of your life. That was supposed to be a little shout out to you. I'm wicked proud of you. Good luck as you enter your adult life and congrats. <laughs> Mega Mishra.
Okay, if you've ever been up the center stairs at Gibson Act behind us, you have probably seen the beautiful mural, mural with all the colors and shapes as you walk up. That mural was designed and painted by two of our seniors here today, and one of them was a student from my advisory, Mega. Oh, that was... Mega, it is the project that set the tone for what I could expect from you, and you didn't disappoint. One of Mega's strengths is giving back to the communities, both across the world in India, or locally here in Issaquah, from helping the Issaquah School Foundation to being an ASB officer, from most days tutoring kids in math, during content time, and I have to say she was still tutoring kids, was that earlier this week or late last week? Like, while, if, um, you know, she just keeps doing that. It's pretty cool. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, she gives of herself to help others with nothing expected in return. And not only has her leadership experiences given her a solid foundation for adulthood, but she's incredibly smart, incredibly well-rounded, well and this combination will give her success in college and her future. You will be missed, Mega, and congratulations. Okay. I have one more. Oliver is sick with COVID right now, and he's my last person. So he's not here. He's on the Zoom call right there. He was also supposed to walk with his dog, Charlie, who has been our mascot. Okay, hopefully I'll get through this. Okay, Oliver, you transferred into my advisory your 201 year, and it has been a great fit, right? Hopefully. Not every advisor could appear out of nowhere with your favorite smell, a cold ego waffle box for you. I was so excited that I was able to bring that for you. You bring kindness and calmness to our advisory. You are welcoming to our youngest students. I've watched you work past those barriers that you have encountered while at Gibson Eck. You persevered, and you will be receiving that in your target and your dashboard. And because of that, you made it to the finish line. Remember, you are stronger than you know, and I'm so proud of you. I will miss you and Charlie, and he is graduating today as our advisory mascot, and congratulations to both of you. Okay, please welcome the next advisor, Lena. Can I reach? Yes, good afternoon. Um, I'm gonna go off script for a second. Um, my three are extra special to me um, this year because when they began their Gibson Eck journey, so did I. All right. Elin McLean, come on and join me. <laughs> Eli has very high expectations for himself. Just as he meets one goal, he's already working towards the next. On top of that, Eli never takes half measures to meet those goals, even managing to get Valve to publicize a charity event he organized for his TF2 server. He is quick thinking, creative, and he never gives up. And he also uses these qualities to support and push his friends to achieve all that they can. In the fall, Eli will continue to expand his business as he builds his resume with IT and music. Eli, I hope you take your passion and creativity with you in everything you do. I am so very proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Gabriel Anderson. When trying to decide what to say about Gabe, uh, I instantly thought about sharks, and I knew he would love nothing more than to be compared to one of his favorite ocean creatures. Sharks, as Gabe will tell you, are a keystone species that are extremely important to the balance of marine ecosystems. Gabe is our advisory's resident shark. A keystone member, he provides balance through his humor and curiosity, and our little ecosystem will not be the same without him. 
In the fall, Gabe will attend Bellevue College to continue exploring his interests in marine biology and 3D modeling. Gabe, I hope you continue to look for the intersections between all your passions. I am so very proud of you. Congratulations. And last but not least, Kale Jackson. In my current Dungeons and Dragons game, I play an artificer, a magically gifted tinkerer with a love for making things. And whenever I can't think of what she should do next, I find myself thinking, what would Kale do in this situation? Well, he might not have magical powers, probably much to his disappointment, Kale is still a master of ingenuity and craftsmanship, as you can constantly find him tinkering on his newest fascination or invention. But Kale doesn't hoard his knowledge for himself. Instead, he shares his eclectic interests by mentoring peers through their own tinkering inquiries. In the fall, Kale will be attending Lake Washington Technical College and hopes to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Kale, I hope you stay curious and stay tinkering. I am very, very proud of you. Congratulations. Please welcome our next advisor, Oliver Jones. Good afternoon. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome Simone Calhoun. Simone is definitely one of a kind. Uh, the year of COVID started and ended with, quote, I'm not interested in anything. Uh, but now that that's over, I hear daily, quote, Oliver, I'll be in the textile space. Uh, thank goodness. At the surface level, this passion for sewing and fashion turned into a creative, interesting prom and beautiful prom dress. At a deeper level, her work showed her commitment to learning, to creativity and to making her work meaningful to her. Uh, her commitment to inclusion turned the textile space into a community, which is a legacy for her to be proud of and for all of us to be grateful for. Her capstone work with uh, drug re-education was deeply personal to her as well, and again shows how much she cares about making a difference. Uh, she's a force for change. And look out world, I've warned you, here she comes. <laughs> Congratulations, Simone. I'd like to welcome Greta Cavada to the stage. Greta checks all the boxes. Artist, writer, AP student, yearbook editor, multi-sport athlete, and I could go on. Uh, she would have crushed it at traditional school. But she's so much more than that. She's charismatic, funny, she's a good friend, she's a natural leader, a hard worker, and definitely my favorite trait, a critical thinker. Her capstone was to write and illustrate a children's book, which may sound cute and fun and easy, which it is, but instead, she also chose to tackle two issues she cares deeply about, LGBTQ representation and fair treatment for pets. As she said a few weeks ago, ironically this sounds like Casey's speech, but as she said a few weeks ago, when accepting the Rotary Scholarship for the year, things changed for her when she started to say yes to challenges and opportunities. Greta's off to Columbia College in Chicago, uh, where she undoubtedly will continue to say yes and in turn crush it. Congrats. Congrats. I'd like to welcome Nick Lodolf uh, to the stage. Nick is one of the kindest people you will ever meet. Nick Daly makes gestures that have, that have a big, pack, big impact on others, finding humor in the mundane, expressing their deepest feelings with 
Let's see if I get it right. Meh or ye. <laughs> Checking in on others in quiet, simple ways. Giving others the benefit of the doubt. Leading through hard work and commitment behind the scenes rather than on stage. And I mean that literally. Nick's capstone was a labor of love for them, but did capture their passion for art, for giving a voice to the voiceless, and for just having a good time. Nick's on their way to, where are you, Anika? Portland State. Portland State in the fall. Nick wanted that to be a secret, but um, uh, though they will try to not make waves, as is their want, I'm certain they will, they will make a very positive impact. Congratulations, Nick. Next up, Ivan Stiskel. I think Gibson Eck may have been created for Ivan. There's not one path here. We want them to find themselves, which is, dare we admit it, asking for trouble. But the potential is too great to pass up, and this young man epitomizes that. These past two years, we've all seen him grow into a force, almost always for good, in our advisory and our school community and in Issaquah. We all love the fun in his all school challenges, but these challenges push us to all think about ourselves as learners while simultaneously nurturing that collaborative, supportive school culture. Ivan's path and learning represent our values, find our passions, and make a difference. He'll be taking a gap year and then on to join a news apprenticeship program as a machine operator. As he told us at his exhibition last week, he's a chrysalis becoming a butterfly. Congrats, <laughs> Ivan. Please welcome advisor Stephen Nelson. I think I'll just stand and step down. <laughs> uh, I'd like to welcome Ilona Leclerc Devinac. Ilona is, of course, kind. She cares deeply about people, both specifically, mega, and people in general. <laughs> She's also increasingly curious, poised, confident, and strong. In an essay I recently was reading from your, 200, your 201 year, you wrote, to all the parents out there, do you really want to have your kids grow up in a world where all your bad habits ruin your child's future? <laughs> then, to take the sting out of it a bit, she just says, just think about it. <laughs> so, so to recap, convictions and kindness. She sensed years ago that art and design would be her future, and she has continued marching toward the, this goal ever since. This fall, she heads to college to study graphic design. The great Victorian poet Elizabeth Browning thought of his art as a crucible of progress. My hope for you, Ilona, is that you find the opportunity to make a difference with your art. Ilona, you have been the heart of our advisory. What are we going to do without our heart? Thank you and Godspeed. I'd like to welcome Linda King. I read an article recently on the cynicism of this generation, of Generation Z. Linda King has every reason to be cynical. Linda's journey has not been easy. But Linda's cynicism isn't of the mindless variety. It's the honest, clear-eyed, thoughtful evaluation of the challenges we face as individuals and as a society. Linda cares. She cares deeply. I've watched as Linda searches for promise, for potential, and for solutions. We're here today as she steps out somewhat begrudgingly into a world of uncertainty, harboring no illusions, but stepping out nonetheless. I've often told people that I teach because I have faith in this young generation to do better than we have, and it's students like you, Linda, that keep that faith alive. Instead of congratulations, I offer 
Whitman-esque, go forth. I have to welcome advisor Victoria Mott. I would like to first welcome Thea LaRose up onto the stage. Thea, you are a kind, person who is loyal to your friends. You show creative flair and have an amazing skill with applying makeup. I would not be surprised to see you on Glow Up sometime in the future. I wish you all the best for next year with whatever path you choose to take, but I know that you will be successful. Um, if Tyler Johnson can come up on stage. I cannot believe it's taken till graduation for me to hear you play that guitar. <laughs> it was wonderful, thank you so much. Tyler, you are a creative young man. Whether building a wooden boat from scratch with your internship, creating music, taking photos, or video editing. You have used the opportunities afforded to you at Gibson Eck to explore your passions while making solid friendships. Whether you decide to go to college to study criminal justice or go into the family shed building business, stay curious and open to the myriad of possibilities out there. I wish you all the best and I'm very proud of what you've achieved. Well done. Alexandra Page Huffman. <laughs> Page, what a journey you have had at Gibson Eck. You came to us a little unsure, a little shy, but with a passion for art and a determination to get to DigiPen. This last year, you have challenged yourself in so many different ways, in taking the time, grit, and per perseverance to not only learn, learn new skills, but also get really good at realism, animation, Blender, SketchUp, 3D printing, to name just a few things. You have also grown so much as a person. You have so much more confidence in yourself and that shines out of you and shows up in the smile on your face. Thank you for teaching me so much about the work behind the art. All the best for next year at DigiPen. I'm really very, very proud of you. Marcus A. Moyle. Marcus, it was clear to me early on that you were wicked bright, but it also appeared to me how hard you were willing to work on projects that captivated both heart and mind. 91 versions of your personally designed 3D printed 3D printer and counting. What I didn't imagine is the growth I would see of Marcus, the young man, the leader and the friend. You are fiercely loyal. You have high standards. You have the ability to take someone down with a few choice words. And you also have the ability to recognize and award praise when it has been earned. 
and you always see it. You have mentored so many through your work in the tech space. Your knowledge and expertise will be missed, but your impact will be felt long after you have gone. Good luck at West Western Washington University's School of Engineering for Industrial Design this fall. They are very lucky to have you. Well done. I'm very proud of you. Graham Welty. <laughs> Graham, COVID was tough, yet instead of letting it get you down, you decided to work hard and use it for growth. You took full advantage of every online opportunity that came your way, such as your internship at the garage where you helped with their social media campaigns and kept your peers engaged even though they couldn't meet up in person. Once back at school, in the building, you solidified the strong base you had built, worked on a capstone that stretched you, building on your strengths whilst making you continuously step into your uncomfortable space. You have learned so much about resilience and grit along the way. I wish you all the best as you head off to Bellevue College to study graphic design in the fall. I'm very proud of the young man you've become. Well done. Maddie Frosham. <laughs> Maddie, you have been the advisor's caretaker, the energy maker, the writing prompt giver, the secret keeper, the favored panelist, and so, so much more. You are a leader, even without any title. The advisory has looked to you to show them the way. You have taught them to be kind, to care, and to be vulnerable. By your actions and your, by your, actions and your words. You will one day have an amazing dermatology clinic, and I know Casey will be after your talents as a mentor as you will nurture the students that follow after you. I wish you so much success as you head off to DePaul University to study biology on track to med school. I know you will light up the lecture theater halls with your infectious smile. It's one that we're all gonna miss. I'm very, very proud of you. Connor Lowe. <laughs> Connor, you started blazing a trail before you even knew about Gibson Eck. As that cute sixth grader getting the lead in the school play. You continued to push boundaries academically in your work on epigenetics, through your research on cell biology with a college professor for your internship, and through various BC classes. And also personally, through your capstone, building a prototype garden in your parents' manicured lawn, and then growing so much food that you were able to donate it to the food bank, to neighbors, and to friends. Teaching a D-Lab where fellow students used power tools, that's no mean feat, by the way, and to build a garden for Gibson Eck, to continue to feed those in need, and through choosing to seek joy. Sorry. Okay. 
and through choosing to seek joy, even through an incredibly difficult time for you personally. I will miss our philosophical chats, nerding out over science, and hearing you play the piano in the Commons. You have been a leader, a mentor, an inspiration, and a trusted friend to the advisory. We know Kel Polly is lucky to call you one of theirs at the beginning of your next adventures to study kine kinesiology in the form. <laughs> Connor, we're going to miss you, and we're very, very proud of you. tassel is symbolic of our work and dedication. Seniors, on the count of three, please turn your tassels from the right to the left. One, two, two and a half, <laughs> three. <laughs> I can't do it, please. next. Seniors, three, two, one. Congratulations! Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh. Um.